Welcome back, science enthusiasts. Today, we are diving deep into the fascinating world of drug resistance. Have you ever wondered why some diseases become more challenging to treat over time? Well, get ready for an eye-opening journey as we explore the mechanisms, consequences and prevention of drug resistance. What is drug resistance? Drug resistance refers to the ability of microorganisms, such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, or fungi, to withstand the effects of drugs that are intended to kill or inhibit their growth. It occurs when these organisms adapt and develop mechanisms that make the drugs ineffective against them. As a result, the microorganisms are able to survive, multiply, and continue causing infections or diseases despite the administration of appropriate medications. What is the cause drug resistance? The cause of drug resistance can be attributed to natural evolutionary processes and human activities, which include Natural selection and evolution Microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi, have the ability to evolve and adapt over time. Through genetic mutations and the selection pressure exerted by the presence of drugs, certain microorganisms with genetic variation are more likely to survive and reproduce, leading to the emergence of drug-resistant strains. Misuse and overuse of drugs. Inappropriate use of antimicrobial drugs is a significant contributor to drug resistance. This includes the misuse or overuse of antibiotics, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic drugs. Examples include using antibiotics for viral infections, not completing prescribed courses of treatment, using leftover drugs for future illnesses, or using substandard medications. Agricultural and veterinary practices. The use of antimicrobial drugs in agriculture and veterinary settings can contribute to drug resistance. Antibiotics may be used for growth promotion in livestock or as a preventive measure against diseases. This may induce genetic mutation in microorganisms, allowing emergence of resistant strains which can potentially transfer their resistance genes to human pathogens. Poor infection prevention and control. Inadequate infection prevention and control measures in healthcare settings can contribute to the spread of drug-resistant microorganisms. This includes insufficient hand hygiene practices, improper sterilization and disinfection techniques. Lack of access to effective treatment. Limited access to quality healthcare and essential antimicrobial drugs can contribute to drug resistance. When individuals do not have timely access to appropriate treatments, infections may persist for long time, which providing opportunities for drug-resistant microorganisms to emerge and spread. Global travel and trade. International travel and trade facilitates the spread of drug-resistant microorganisms across borders. Resistant strains can be carried by individuals or transmitted through contaminated food, water, or other goods, contributing to the global dissemination of drug resistance. Insufficient research and development. The lag in research and development of new antimicrobial drugs has limited the introduction of novel therapies. This lack of innovation means that existing drugs may become overused, increasing the risk of resistance development. Mechanism of drug resistance. There are several common mechanisms through which microorganisms develop resistance to drugs, which include Genetic mutations. Microorganisms can undergo genetic mutations that alter their DNA, leading to changes in their cellular structures or metabolic processes. These mutations can make a drug target ineffective, preventing drug entry into the cell, or enhance the organism's ability to inactivate the drug. Efflux pump systems. Some microorganisms possess efflux pump systems that actively remove drugs from inside the cell, reducing their concentration and effectiveness. These pumps act as transporters that pump out drugs before they can exert their intended effects. Enzymatic inactivation. Certain microorganisms produce enzymes that can modify or break down drugs, making them inactive. These enzymes can chemically modify the drug's structure or degrade it, preventing it from exerting its antimicrobial action. Target modification. Microorganisms can modify the drug's target site, such as proteins or enzymes, thereby preventing the drug from binding to its target and inhibiting its function. This alteration reduces the drug's ability to interfere with the microorganism's normal biological processes. Biofilm formation. Some microorganisms, particularly bacteria, can form biofilms, which are complex communities of microorganisms embedded in a protective matrix. Biofilms provide a physical barrier that hampers the penetration of drugs, making the microorganisms within the biofilm more resistant to treatment. Horizontal gene transfer. Microorganisms can acquire resistance genes from other resistant strains or species through processes like conjugation, transformation, or transduction. 
This horizontal gene transfer allows for the rapid spread of resistance genes among different microorganisms, contributing to the emergence of multidrug-resistant strains. Types of drug resistance? There are several types of drug resistance that can occur in microorganisms, which include Antibiotic resistance Antibiotic resistance refers to the ability of bacteria or other microorganisms to resist the effects of antibiotics, making them ineffective in treating bacterial infections. This is one of the most well-known and concerning forms of drug resistance. Antiviral resistance Antiviral resistance occurs when viruses, such as HIV, influenza, or hepatitis viruses, develop the ability to evade or resist the effects of antiviral medications. This can lead to difficulties in managing viral infections and may require the use of alternative treatment options. Antifungal resistance Antifungal resistance refers to the ability of fungi to resist the effects of antifungal drugs. This can complicate the treatment of fungal infections, particularly in individuals with weakened immune systems or those suffering from chronic conditions. Antiparasitic resistance Antiparasitic resistance occurs when parasites, such as malaria causing plasmodium species or intestinal worms, become resistant to the drugs used to treat or prevent parasitic infections. This can hinder efforts to control and eliminate parasitic diseases. Anti-cancer drug resistance. Anti-cancer drug resistance is a phenomenon where cancer cells develop resistance to chemotherapy drugs, leading to treatment failure and disease progression. What are the consequences of drug resistance? The consequences of drug resistance can have far-reaching impacts on individuals, communities, healthcare systems, and global public health. Some of the key consequences of drug resistance include Treatment failure Drug resistance reduces the effectiveness of antimicrobial drugs, leading to treatment failure. This means that infections and diseases caused by resistant microorganisms may persist or worsen, resulting in prolonged illness, increased morbidity and mortality rates. Increased healthcare costs the emergence and spread of drug-resistant microorganisms significantly impact healthcare costs. Treating drug-resistant infections often requires more expensive and prolonged courses of therapy, additional diagnostic tests, and hospitalization. These added expenses place a considerable burden on healthcare systems and can result in financial strain for patients. Limited treatment options. As drug resistance spreads, the number of effective treatment options decreases. This leaves healthcare providers with limited choices in managing infections, making it more challenging to control outbreaks. Extended hospital stays. Drug-resistant infections often require longer hospital stays for affected individuals. This increases the burden on healthcare facilities, decreases bed availability, and may lead to higher healthcare-associated costs. Public health impact. Drug-resistant microorganisms can spread within communities, increasing the risk of community-acquired infections. This poses a significant public health challenge, as controlling the spread of these infections becomes more difficult. Global health threat. Drug resistance is a global health threat that knows no borders. Resistant microorganisms can spread internationally through travel and trade, making it a challenge that requires collaborative efforts and international cooperation to address effectively. Compromised medical procedures. Drug resistance can impact various medical procedures that rely on effective antimicrobial therapy, such as surgeries, organ transplants, and cancer treatments. Without reliable antimicrobial agents, these procedures become riskier, as the chances of postoperative infections or treatment-related complications increase. How drug resistance can be prevented? Preventing drug resistance is a complex procedure that requires coordinated efforts from healthcare professionals, policymakers, researchers, industry stakeholders, and the general public. Here are some key strategies to help prevent drug resistance, which include Rational use of antimicrobial drugs. Healthcare providers should prescribe the right drug, at the right dose, for the right duration, and only when necessary. Avoiding the unnecessary use of antibiotics can help reduce the development of drug resistance. Public education and awareness. Educating the public about the appropriate use of antimicrobial drugs is crucial. Promote awareness campaigns that emphasize the importance of completing prescribed courses of antibiotics. Encourage responsible use of antimicrobial drugs in both human and veterinary settings. Improved infection prevention and control. Enhance infection prevention and control measures in healthcare settings, including proper hand hygiene, effective sterilization and disinfection practices. These hygiene practices can help reduce the incidence of healthcare-associated infections and the need for antimicrobial treatment. Vaccination programs. 
Widespread implementation of vaccination programs can help prevent infections and reduce the need for antimicrobial drugs. Vaccines can significantly reduce the burden of infectious diseases, thereby reducing the reliance on antimicrobial therapy and lowering the likelihood of resistance development. Surveillance and monitoring. Establish robust surveillance systems to monitor the prevalence and patterns of drug resistance at local, national, and international levels. Timely and accurate data on resistance trends can help in identifying emerging resistance patterns and guide public health interventions. Research and development. Invest in research and development to discover and develop new antimicrobial drugs, diagnostic tools, and alternative non-antibiotic treatments. One Health Approach. Adopt a One Health Approach. Implement responsible use of antimicrobials in veterinary medicine, promote good animal husbandry practices, and minimize the use of antibiotics as growth promoters in agriculture. International Collaboration Encourage international collaboration and cooperation to address drug resistance as a global health challenge. Share best practices, exchange information, and establish frameworks for coordinated action to combat drug resistance across borders. Conclusion we can promote awareness about responsible antibiotic use, practice good hygiene, and support policies that regulate antibiotic use in healthcare, agriculture, and veterinary sectors. Together, we can make a difference. Understanding drug resistance is vital for safeguarding our health and the effectiveness of our medications. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay tuned for more exciting scientific topics right here on our channel. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.